Good evening. My name is Alexander Hagen, erstwhile climate activist and uh, small business person, former financial analyst, uh, financial journalist, and research engineer, uh, Bernie Delegate 2016-2020. And um, I've been working on the climate issue for a while. Uh, I started drawing graphs of the different feedback loops, and it ends up, I'll just get to the chase here, um, looking at the different uh, feedback loops, such as the polar caps melting, uh, then the boreal forest, that is uh, forests of the northern hemisphere, and the Arctic burning, which leads to permafrost burping methane. So let's see if I can find you this picture here. This, in this picture, the yellow zone is uninhabitable desert. And um, this is a 4C warmer world. And the problem is that you don't just need to plant crops up here. You need um, pollinators. You need a whole ecosystem. Um, and they don't just always migrate in a decade. So it may not go so well, uh, uh, but uh, be that as it may, that's the kind of world we're heading by possibly uh, you know, be pretty locked into that by 2040 um, and, and kind of experiencing it by 2045 where these places start to really have um, these wet bulb events, for example, uh, that kill people if they don't have air conditioning, uh, even in their houses. If you can get to 130 degrees, 140 degrees with a very high humidity, people die in minutes, apparently. So... <laughs> Uh, with that said, I encourage you to watch the first part of this series where I go through all of this in detail to frame how urgent it is. And then the second part where we look at Biden's uh, climate speech, which I consider uh, important speech in the 21st century because of the person and at the point in time and um, the uh, clear declaration of how all these things are interrelated on how much needs to change. Although, of course, it doesn't deal with the underlying social issues quite as much as one would want. But we need to build a broad coalition and, and create a, and, and we're seeing a, more and more journalists and corporate outlets being willing to talk openly about climate change, such as Jeff Verdelli on CBS News. Uh, and that go over all this in episode one, two is episode Biden, three is just a short vignette of Trump. And now we're going to talk about the uh, evolution of the Green New Deal uh, and this awareness that we face potential extinction in the next two or three decades. You know, oceans completely dead, all sorts of horrors. And that's section one deals with those. So just trust me, it's bad, potentially. Let's say one in three chance for a skeptic uh, from the work I've done it looks like two and three chance uh, that uh, we have a hell world in the mid 2040s. So with that said, uh, the Green New Deal that the Sanders movement embraced, uh, I will now draw out this document, involved a $16 trillion expenditure over 10 years, 130% roughly of the military industrial expenditure for war and spying of the US uh, over and, um, then, of course, Biden won. There was a unity council, a unity commission meeting. So let's sort of put that over here. Here's the Bernie militants version, which is myself. Uh, we created a document, the Progressive DNC Climate uh, Declaration, which basically talks about creating a parallel government. Uh, and then when we look at the work of Extinction Rebellion, when I say that, you create local emergency, climate emergency councils. As things start to get bad, uh, we have to take matters into our own hands potentially and not wait for the outside world to solve our problems for us. And this is a gross oversimplification. Please do read it if you get a chance. I'll post this link at the bottom of this article, of this video presentation rather. Uh, so uh, we have the Unity Commission, which I don't have documented yet. Then we have an Extinction Rebellion. An Extinction Rebellion is the uh, probably uh, most a uh, high profile international um, uh, climate activist organization uh, that is really um, treating this with sort of the anger that the urgency should require. Uh, and they want uh, 2030 
is the demand here. I've seen the demand often laid out as 2025 with this group. Uh, so they want carbon neutrality within five to 10 years. They want citizens assemblies. They have a more sophisticated view than I do, a very lovely way they describe how, you know, in a citizen assembly, some of the people may be chosen randomly out of uh, out of the uh, pool out, out of the citizen pool, so it's it's not just a, a place where you elect people somewhere else. It's a different way of organizing things, uh, but and it and it serves as an advisory group to the government. So if there's a lot of focus on it and a lot of power given to it by the community, the government presumably will listen. And um, so I'm learning about Extinction Rebellion. And of course, you have the Sunrise Movement. They're the most successful group in the United States. It's a climate activist group. They've uh, 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 saved Ed Markey. They've turned out and helped a lot of the uh, new up and coming people of color in the progressive movement. Uh, like, uh, what's it, Jamal Bowman, uh, probably Corey uh, Bush, uh, you know, various uh, upsets that we've had, Ed Markey. Uh, and this has been very vital to us. Uh, and um, and their definition of the Green New Deal, which was the same as the Sanders movement is by 2030, uh, we have a carbon neutral economy. Um, then out of this unity commission, which I don't have yet documented, uh, comes out of this a couple of things. One is, uh, well, which is the DNC Climate Council recommendation. So the Unity Commission Climate Group uh, advised in, and we get at the DNC Climate Council, which is the, the, the union of the, the Biden and Sanders and all the other influences in the party. And it comes out with a pretty strong platform, 2040 carbon neutral, not 2050 as the DNC and Biden campaigns want. Electric grid by 2030, not by 2035 as the Biden campaign wants, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it calls for a carbon neutral building infrastructure by 2025. DNC is 2030. Probably Biden lines up with DNC. Um, then the federal funding it calls for is similar levels to the Sanders Sunrise, 16 trillion over 10 years. Now I happen to have worked out myself on a sort of napkin, but it would cost to convert the US over to renewables. And I came up with about 5 trillion but I might have been uh, over idealistic uh, or taken out of account certain factors, uh, but uh, certainly not what Biden recommends, which is 1.7 over 10. Even in my own back of napkin, like Silicon Valley bid, you know, which uh, is, uh, uh, could be gross underbid, even that is three times what Biden's proposal is. And I wouldn't want to do this over 10 years. We need to do it over, two or three uh, years, uh, four years. <clears throat> but at any rate, uh, then we go on and look at, um, uh, Biden has emphasized federal procurement. I should really move this over here because it's not addressed by the other parties. Um, oh no, that's all right. Uh, yes, yeah, so uh, to spur the development technology, we take the 500 billion a year the government spends and target it towards green uh, 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 100% electric buses immediately, a very uh, good trend. The DNC Climate Council recommended we conserve 30% of the America's lands and seas to nature by 2030 and 50% by 2050. Excellent goal. Uh, and the uh, Biden campaign to its uh, commendably agrees to 30% of America's lands and waters by 2030. Uh, again, for some reason they don't line up. It's like they just always want to leave something on the table uh, for some reason, uh, or people were just asking for a little too much. I don't know what it is. Uh, and the Biden strategy overall is one of, this is sort of win-win because we have good union jobs, securing America's climate future, reducing pollutants in our environments, improving our technical edge, improving our diplomatic and world leadership edge, uh, and uh, it's a win-win-win proposition. For me, it's a win-win on foreign policy because I'm hoping if I support Biden and we all support Biden and this goes well, we get a lot of progressives in, we can keep moving to more, the more aggressive timetable as we build the political will and people see how it's going. Um, 
so that we create the, the uh, momentum to direct uh, uh, the democratic uh, and uh, affiliated forces of uh, sane and civilized climate emergency awareness, such as scientists, um, that we line up so that the momentum of a Biden administration and these affiliate forces is towards cooperation with the other great powers using climate, uh, uh, creating, uh, you know, uh, it, I would call it sustainability, um, but uh, you could call it just the carbon emergency that we're poisoning our atmosphere and seas, however you want to describe it. This could create a overall change in the diplomatic atmosphere in the world if we can really see this for what it is so we can reward ourselves as a society for the sacrifices and achievements we make uh, because we're averting disasters and we have to make it clear to people visualize the enemy what is it that we are in store for if we don't avert this so we can also take heart when we do and i take heart today i take heart that uh, there's a, a significantly ambitious a democratic a proposal on the table to get us to a carbon neutral uh, a power grid by 2035. But uh, it's more than that, it's the overall awareness and support of the problem because these numbers are went out nowhere near where we need. So I'm choking on them when they come out of my mouth, I admit it. Um, so, um, uh, let's see, is there anything else important? The DNC platform stresses they want to put in a half a billion solar panels, which I estimated 100 gigawatts minimum, uh, eight years, uh, eight million solar panels. Um, uh, so uh, they want to reach net zero as rapidly as possible. Uh, and uh, so you can read about this, 60,000 turbines. Uh, you know, Biden calls on a uh, big push for electric vehicles, new technologies. Um, uh, this is a solar panel call out from the, uh, the, the DNC platform itself, which has only got six pages on climate change. Um, charging stations, Biden commits to building a half a million charging stations in the next few years. Carbon neutral housing, uh, very good. Uh, work in the Biden website on um, the fact that we can sequester a lot of carbon organically through the proper use of farming soils. Um, uh, train and rail services, that definitely is a good option. If you wanna be able to travel around guilt-free, um, a good efficient rail system could be splendid because um, it's guilt-free travel. Once you realize it's about $100 a gallon damage for a gallon of gas, uh, if you look at this recent article that came out. Um, that's your, so you wanna go visit grandma, it's, uh, that's $4,000 of environmental damage. Uh, so at any rate, uh, the uh, DNC Climate Council has a beautiful little piece here, which you can uh, read because I'll link to this article about uh, the natural uh, services of our uh, environment, the natural gifts of country, the beauty as well as vital ecological uh, services, all nation water filtration, worth billions for economy, access to green spaces, at the natural world is extreme peril, more than one million species a year in danger, and the perils of increased uh, vector-borne diseases. So there's some nice work in this DNC Climate Council piece. It's uh, way closer to Sanders than it is to Biden. Um, and, it's, and it's interesting because it is the DNC leadership on climate. It's just that the, uh, the Central Committee has stopped their uh, their views from getting all the way into the platform. So these platforms are included here. This is the uh, DNC uh, climate platform. And uh, the reason you need to support Joe is look at this, 350 Sunrise Greenpeace Sierra Club, our revolution, for God's sake. That's Bernie's group. Uh, well, of course, we knew he got endorsed by them. But at any rate, uh, it's a very good program, the uh, DNC uh, climate council program uh, so uh i hope this was of use to you uh, my name is alexander hagan uh good night and good luck